What do y'all think about Jay Electronica? Dope. You heard Dope. that new joint with Just Blaze? Yes. Yeah. One of the hottest just joints crazy. out there. He yeah. is of that, like, camp. I, I, frankly, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to name names affirmatively. <laughs> He is the like of this new crop, even though he's not young. Of this new crop, that's the dude right that's there. That's him right that's there. That's the lyricist. Like out of like all these dudes that like are getting bigged up, like in this mm-hmm. new generation, like yeah. that that right there, that's the only dude I would want to work with. Like he's crazy. He's got like real depth. He's got real substance. He doesn't sound. He sounds like he's kind of you know. You can tell he's Nas influenced, obviously. Yeah. 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 I think that's the thing that's kind of preventing me from getting him into him. But here's the thing. I think he has more. He. I'm not gonna say he has more range than Nas because you know Nas is who he is as a person. You know he's you know he's a legend. He's bu- done so much to build, and he's still doing dope stuff. You know the last Nas album is crazy. I think. But I think Jay Electronica because he's coming from so many different perspectives and regions of the country, mm-hmm. and just like a diff- like. Different musical perspective, like like he's he's his own man, yeah. but he's still you know he's he's Nas influence, you know like who Nas is rock him influenced, right right. Mm. You I know? mean I mean I mean he's so creative though, like he rhymed yeah. over the of uh, the score for um Eternal Sunshine yeah. of Spotless Mind, like come on, that was yeah. and it, it wasn't even yeah. corny. That's tough. That was, was tough hot, to get off. Yeah, you know? what's what's up with people taking like soundtracks and car commercials like to rhyme over now? Fascinating. I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I, it's 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 easy. It's recognizable. It's commercially smart. You know, fascinating. It's, it's fascinating. All, it's fascinating. It's very fascinating. It's all. It's like this. It's like why are you going to go to the trouble of of finding a break that is only like cool to you and your like musically inclined friends and peers when you could just take like what they use to sell someone a Saturn. You yeah, know, right. and, and do they still make Saturns? They still make those? I think so. Yeah. And they long it. and prosper. Yeah. I don't know if they've gone under yet, you know. Yo, yeah, the auto industry is not, not doing well, so. Uh-uh. uh-uh. <laughs> no. Big no-no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like um, G Unit's career. Pretty well. Ooh. Well, 50 got that money. 50's got Oprah. <laughs> 50's trying to, I bet he's going to be the male Oprah. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> Someday. Can you imagine the 50, the Curtis the Jackson Thomas show? in that bank account. So. Yeah. Like the like live with Curtis Jackson. <laughs> really? I thought it would have been more <laughs> like uh, more it's outside live. I thought it would have been more like Jerry Spring, um, Springer, and Mario now Polish. live That'd from Southside Studios. Yeah. We have the Curtis Jackson show. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Fifty <laughs> Cent. You know we want to start the show now. Now you gotta talk with your teeth together really hard. You know what I'm saying? Fifty Cent. You know we want to start the show and everything. You know what I'm saying? Tony, yeah, you'll be doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we doing our thing, man. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but now, nah, like, um, you know, getting back to Fat Beats and everything, like, how did y'all come together there? Because I know some of y'all started earlier, some of y'all started later. So, for the guys who's here, like, you know, just talk about your beginnings at Fat Beats. Uh, you were here, you were there way before I was. So. Yeah, I've been there since, oh... Three, oh, nah, I lied. Maybe like oh four or five. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh four or five. I started. Yeah, I interned at the store. Um, worked my way through there. Got hired at the store for a little bit. Dipped for like three months. Came back. And then See, that's thought, real hip hop. I'm at the world. Get a job like that. You know what I'm saying? And just continue to grind. Worse. I I just started interning there last year after college. Uh, hmm. Because of uh, schedules and the fact that we always, you know, need to do shows, I can't get a job at Fat Beats as a clerk because then uh, no one will be able to, uh, to perform anywhere. So uh, <laughs> I'm like, there's a few of us who, who work at Fat Beats just on the strength and just for the love. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what Fat Beats is. Fat Beats wouldn't exist if it weren't for, you know, the extra little help out here and there. Um, so this is a good spot. Very community oriented. Um, Very. You know, so no, good. No community oriented. Why we ain't got no t-shirts? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, we don't get they, t-shirts. Some shirts, <laughs> they just made new shirts. Yeah, well, with the old logo. <laughs> <laughs> they, just made, they just made shirts. You can you can cop them now at the yeah. store. Oh, okay. Did they get them on the website? On, yeah, fatbees.com. Which holla runs. Shout out to Doe, my boy Dewan. Yeah, Dewan, Dewan's a man. Yeah, nah, a lot of people up in there. Like, um, wow, like, shout out to Eclipse, shout out to Maury, shout out to, um, Amora is no longer there. I know, but I, she's still Fappy's family. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't. Well, she's the one who dragged Logic and our concept down here. That's, how I, got, that's how I got in there through her. Oh, so, her. 
Yeah, nah, honestly, Respect. like, you know, I still tell people that, like, she was the one who really introduced me or brought me in, I think, even though I never Wait. did anything there. Can I actually tell the funny thing about, about my entrance to Fat Beats? I actually almost didn't get hired to be an intern at Fat Beats. Because a- a- AMD is the man, a- Audible Doc from Brownback All Stars the, is the manager there, so he would make a decision, and the Clips also make a decision on this. But I got in there. And there was a dude I knew from middle school who I hated back in the day. He came from L.A. to New York, and he ended up as an intern there, too. And he told them not to hire me. Douchebag. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Here's how fate works. About, uh, what, what is it like? It's been, I, I think by August of uh, the next year, he was no longer working at Fat Beats. He got fired. So, wow. that's karma, baby. I was about to say, you know, that's like... And as we say, you just got brown bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's how what do you mean, like, um, drunken brawl style? Nah, he just, he just, you know, <laughs> you know, just that, that, the one, the one thing it's this, that we like, we try to uphold in our crew, besides just dope music, is goodwill. You know, granted, I'm speaking as the biggest hater in this entire, uh, you know, hip-hop world, but... I think when you deal with people on just an individual basis, you know, to all, all artistic opinions aside, we can't afford to like backstab, to like double talk, you know, if you want to succeed, you know, I know money's important, everyone's trying to get money in this game, but it all falls apart if we're not honest with each other. Right. I'd rather someone honestly tell me, I hate your music, Soul Con, than, you know, like, <laughs> dance around and give me false hope, because, you know, you don't know, your money yeah, could depend is. on me later. There's no yes men in our crew. Yeah, none. Whatsoever. That's what's up. If a track is whack, we're gonna be like, yo, you may have to rewrite that beat. Yeah. yeah. Or you're not on the song. <laughs> or you're not on the track. Yeah. Or if he continues to push it, just. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, definitely, like. But the Yes Men thing, you know, is something I've always been mad at. Well, it's annoying. A lot of the stuff has just become sort of like, uh, it's become a scene. You know, I left, I left yeah, Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah. I left LA because I didn't want to compete with actors and models and directors and writers. I wanted to just be in a rap scene that had, that had rappers in it and producers and, and, and DJs. Uh-huh. I get here and it became like, I don't know, it became like a shoe expo. Like, you just like, I don't know what they're, you know, like, I, I, I don't care. You know, you got the, you know, the, the flyest new SB 9000s that are like camouflage. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, right? it's like you got camouflage on Voltron, on like, <laughs> on Crayola patterns. Like, I don't know what you're yo, doing. Yo, yo, check this out. My shoe could transform. Yeah. It's okay. like, yeah. it's like, it was cool. You know what? At least, at least, a, you know, I, I don't even mind. Like, it makes me pine for like the cash money stuff. At least a car gets you somewhere. <laughs> no. You know, the shoe. You hang the shoes up. Those are show shoes. Like, what are you doing? You know, and like, yeah. like the rap scene here is like not. You know, you you if you come if you came to New York, it like, I think even the last like three or four years, like real idealistic about what a hip hop scene would be. You might be disappointed. I think it'd be the same anywhere though. But there's no place like New York. You know, you you, you I, I would I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Yeah, not for hip hop. Well, hell no. You know, like New York's was that. Yeah, but there's dope people like you know y'all on on, on the show and. uh you know, Fat Beast folks, Brown Bag yep. All Stars. Yeah. Let's flash against my hollow bones. That rocks my soul.